What's up YouTube? So I think I figured out what my issue was. Um, I had, so I spent a while after last video uh, checking over everything, wondering why it wasn't working because it was just bothering me because it seemed like everything should be done. Um, came to my attention I wasn't running a power wire from the post to the fuse box. Uh, so I'm going to run over to the auto parts store, grab one of those. Um, I still got to route the coolant lines and get the block off plate. Other than that, it's, it's looking pretty good. Um, I got to put in the, uh, brake booster or sorry, the, uh, master cylinder, um, run those hydraulic lines, put in the slave cylinder, drive shaft, whatnot. Um, but we're definitely making progress. Um, it's good news that I at least found something that wasn't right. Um, I'll admit that was a, a bonehead move because if my dad even came out and he asked, he was like, uh, how's the fuse box getting power? And I was like, uh, it, it goes through the harness. It, I don't, yeah, I'm an idiot. So I should have listened to it. Um, that's how it goes. But other than that, um, yeah, pretty much just running those couple other vacuum lines to the map or the boost solenoid. And, uh, that's just chilling right down over there. Um, I just got to figure out what I have to run vacuum from to that. I think it's one, I don't know. It's one on the intake, one on somewhere else. There's three ports. So I, I just got to look at the diagram. Um, other than that, I'm going to run to the auto parts store. I'll give you a little M60 cold start. Um, probably hit some B roll and, uh, I'll, I'll catch up back with you and figure out if, uh, this is actually my issue. to the auto parts store was semi-successful the only issue was they only had black thick gauge wire so since i want to get it running either today or tomorrow i just went for it but uh to make it like easy to know that it's a power wire because i i was hoping to keep it the same and keep it consistent keep all the power wires red um i picked up some red zip ties so i'll just throw those on each end so that i know it's positive not not a ground wire I mean, it's going to be very obvious. It's literally going to run from the positive post right to the fuse box and just be like zip tied to the firewall or whatever. But um, just for, for safety and, uh, you know, my own <laughs> down the road, if I ever need to replace something, it'll it'll keep it easier if I keep it consistent. So um, got to do that. Then pretty much it's just hook up the wastegate and get that oil feed line. Uh, the feed line is going to be one of the bigger, you know, setbacks. Um, I'm going to order that today probably. Well, I might wait till tomorrow because I'm probably going to call Genetti Racing because um, they have just random parts. They might they might have the right thing. So um, I'm going to hit them up tomorrow, see if they have what I need. If not, then uh, order it up on, I don't know, like Drift HQ or something. They're pretty quick usually. Um, so I'll keep you updated. I'm going to make that wire. I'll, I'll make a video of that. Um, not sure if that's going to be today or tomorrow because the weather looks like it's rolling in and I'm going out to uh, like a lunch with my family. So I'll keep you updated. If I do get to that tonight, then uh, I'll definitely throw it in the video and maybe post it up tonight. But if not, then I'll probably get back to you tomorrow. Um, so enjoy some B-roll. <laughs> So one day turned into three, um, you know how that goes, but I got all the parts to make up the power wire. So I'm actually doing that up right now. Let me flip the camera. So I just cut the ends off the wire. I'm um, gonna put the little heads on, 
shrink wrap it, uh, put some red zip ties on it so that I know that it's a positive wire because they ran out of uh, red wire at the auto parts store. Um, I'm probably going to end up replacing that at some point just because it, it bothers me. But um, other than that, we're pretty much just going to run the power wire today. Um, depending if snow holds off, might try to put the uh, like reservoir and the clutch line in, but... We'll see how far we get before rain comes um well rain or snow i don't know it's it's getting pretty cold um also i still have to fix that kinked oil feed line um well get a new one you can't fix a kinked you know am line um but yeah other than that we're looking pretty good uh for first start gonna have to probably flip the uh down pipe out the hood as long as we can clear it um or just even sideways for the time being just to start it just because it's dumping right on the wastegate, which, like, I'm no uh, scientist, but I don't think that's a good idea. Um, so, got to plumb up the uh, PCV valve still. Um, I still have that sketchy little aer aerator for first start, but I'm going to do dual AN lines, put a little catch can probably over there just for heat reasons. I don't want more stuff over by the downpipe if it doesn't need to be. Um, speaking of that, I am going to be, <laughs> you know zip tying all this up getting it looking real nice not having wires directly next to the downpipe that's a awful idea um but yeah i got the uh, temp sensor threaded in um that's pretty much it it's it's getting pretty close so i'm gonna i'm gonna do up this power wire real quick um i'll give you a little update once it's done all right so dodo me forgot to hook up a power wire to the fuse box so just did that. I got to rehook up the ECU because I took that out of the car um, the other night because it was super cold. Probably doesn't matter because it's a car ECU, but did it anyway. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go hook that up, hook the battery up, and uh, we'll see where we're at. So, I just hooked up the battery and the CD changer is making noise, which means we have power to the harness. So since it's the first time putting power to the harness before I even put the key in, I'm just double checking everything, making sure that there's, you know, no uh, goofy things coming up from the engine bay where all the new wiring is. Um, got the fresh fire extinguisher on deck, you already know. Um, yeah, if you're ever doing like, like wiring, engine swaps, pretty much any car work, or just if you have a project car, just, just go to Home Depot, buy one of these. Um, I don't have a mount in this car yet, definitely gonna happen, but I literally just drilled it on the trans tunnel right in the back, which I don't know if I'm gonna do the same for this car because I care about it a little bit more. Um, right there, I literally just like, and yeah, fire extinguisher. Um, so now that I see that nothing is uh, smoking or doing anything weird, um, I'm gonna try to put the key in the ignition. So uh, I'll cut to that right now. All right, so this is the moment of truth. Yo! I haven't seen lights on this thing in two years. Holy crap, this is so cool. Um, let's see. Sounds like the fuel pump kicked on, but... Maybe not. Um, oh, you know what? The ECU is still locked, so that's probably what's stopping that. Um, sadly, since the oil uh, feed line is still kinked, I can't start it today. Um, but that is super cool. Um, yeah, now pretty much I got to figure out the feed line, uh, do up the routing for the. Um, I did a tuck radiator. I should probably just suck it up and buy the little fitting so that I can put the water neck here. Or not the water neck, sorry, that's that's the water neck. The uh, the little T-neck that Chase Bays makes. Um, I think it's on my passenger seat. Let's see. Yeah, that little guy. Um, so they make a double threaded fitting so that you can put it directly into the radiator. So I'm probably just gonna buy that. I think it's like 10 bucks, it's a fitting. Um, but yeah this thing is uh definitely getting close i'm super stoked that that actually was the issue because i thought that was it but uh you know you never know with engine swaps it could be anything but make sure to like and uh subscribe and uh yeah soon we're gonna be 
making some boost.